So now we're going to look at the type of question where they ask you to find an equation of a line. So this is all still revision. You would have done this in the junior year before, but it's still you still it's still important to know. You need to know it. So again, we have our uh, red x and y axis. We have a yellow line here with a slope of one third, and it goes through the point minus one one. We have a blue line here. We don't know the slope, but we know it goes through minus two five and four minus one. Okay. So they're asking us to find the equation of the lines k, L and K. Yeah. So they find the equation of those two lines there. So I'll just write something here quickly. So there, I just scribbled it out quickly. If we want to find the equation of a line, we need one of two things. We either need two points on the line, okay? Or else we either need the slope and one point on the line. So it's exactly what we have here. We have two points on the blue line and we have the slope and the one point on the yellow line. So we're gonna have to, uh, so we're gonna see both methods basically. And then anyway, with either of these uh, forms, we're gonna have to use this formula here, y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. So it's another formula that's in your formula book. So we'll get used to seeing it. So I'll start this one. I'll go blue for the line L. Okay, so to find two, with two points on the line, so the first thing you need to do is you need to find the slope of the line if you're given two points. So the slope, m, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Uh, and our point A and our point B are, let's scroll up, minus two and five and four and minus one. So four minus one, minus two, five. And again, I'm gonna write x1, y1, and x2, y2. I'm gonna do this every single time because uh, it really is the best practice to do it. Then uh, I'll go green. So I'm gonna say m then is equal to, so y2, which is gonna be five, minus y1. And that's gonna be minus, minus one. So be careful of that. Then x2, which is minus two, and minus four, which is x1. So that's going to be six over minus six. So minus minus one will be plus one, and then five plus one is six. Minus two minus four is minus six. Our slope is going to be minus one. Uh, so now that we have this, we can stick it into this formula here. So I'll do that in purple. So again, I'm just gonna write the formula out once y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. Uh, and this is also a handy thing, if you write the formula out and then do the question directly under the formula, it's easier to sub things in. So see what I mean? So that now we're gonna say y. So y and x you don't touch, it's only y1, x1, and m that you sub things in for. So minus y1, we're gonna choose this one here. So it's gonna be minus, minus one is equal to m, which is minus one, because that's what we got here, multiplied by x minus x1, which is four. So hopefully you guys all remember that from the junior search. That's how you get the equation of a line. So we just have to work this out now. We're gonna have y plus one is equal to minus x plus four. And then I'm gonna move this over and we're gonna have y is equal to minus x plus three. So that is our line L, I think, isn't it? The blue one was, yeah, the blue one was L. So that's our line L, that makes sense? So we chose this point here, four and minus one, but you can choose minus two and five and you'll get the same answer. So it may not seem like it, but if you want to stick that in and try it, you should get the exact same answer. Y is equal to minus X plus three. So that's the equation of the line. Now we're gonna try the second one, which is actually gonna be easier still. So uh, here we have minus one and one is one of the points and the slope is one over three. So I'm just gonna write that down. So slope is equal to one over three. And then our point is going to be minus one and one. So that's going to be x1 and it's y1. And we can sub it straight into our formula now. We don't have to get the slope first because we already have it. So y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1. y minus y1 is going to be one is equal to m, one over three by x minus x1, which is going to be minus minus one. Let's go down a little bit more. Um, so then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna multiply everything by three. This is generally the easiest way to get rid of a fraction. So multiply it all by three, and you're gonna get three y minus three is equal to one. So one over three will turn into one then. Um, multiply by x. So then you don't have to, well, if you multiply this side by three, it just gets rid of the fraction. You can uh, work away with this. Minus minus one will be plus one. We get three y minus three is equal to x plus one. Um, and then I'm gonna move the minus three over, so we're gonna get 
3y is equal to x plus 4 in this case. And that's our line k. Okay, so we're going to talk about why these lines look different. We're going to look at different forms of the line in the next video. But hopefully that's a just a quick refresher of how to get the equation of lines. Because that's really important. Um, yeah, for leaving sort of one of those basic skills. So we'll see you next time for looking at different types of equations of lines.